Hi everybody, it's Dr. Modi Charter back again for another hoot. Wow, what a crazy week. Kind of a violent week, so viewer discretion advised on this one because we did have an invasive minor attack on a pigeon nest. I'll get into that, talk about why it happened. Luckily in uh, Israel, Ramon Barnal Kim, the nesting, the little nesting is doing great, very good. Uh, after the uh, little rocky start with that pier, so I'll get into that also. We have the griffin vultures, little owls are coming back and forth, so lots of stuff to get into. So please don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Let's get into it. We're here in Israel Common Kestrel Cam. Pigeon Pair has two squabs doing a great job feeding these guys and taking care of them. Uh, very cute. But unfortunately, a pair of minor came and started mobbing the female, showing interest in a box, female trying to defend. But this minor pair, if you learn anything about minors, they do not give up, kind of like the pigeons. And they will not give up in harassing uh, until finally, viewer discretion is advised, finally uh, the minor came and start uh, one of them bringing nesting material and immediately starting to attack the squabs. I fast forwarded this so maybe you'll see a little bit less but it's extremely violent. They attack again and again and again. Uh, this invasive bird uh, just injuring these poor nestlings. Now miners, they eat everything. They eat, uh, um, they predate nestlings and eggs but they're not very good predators. They're not efficient killers. So it takes them multiple and multiple attacks to kill another larger bird, even like these nestlings. Uh, we've seen them killed adult pigeons in the past, and it literally took them over an hour to kill a pigeon, an adult pigeon. And here these poor squabs are just defenseless against this onslaught of these minor pier. Ultimately, the, the minor pier, they want to use the nest. They don't want to predate the nestlings in this case. But the uh, nestlings are uh, bothering them that they're there and they want to get them out. So this complete craziness, and you know, miners are native to India. They uh, came to Israel the first time in 99. They're one of the 100 most invasive species in the world. And they, they're so opportunistic, whether it's in a breeding sites here, like they're trying to breed in this open site, even though they're kind of cavity breeders, but they'll build a, a nest in here. They breed anywhere and they prey on literally everything. And they're extremely, extremely aggressive. They're not the most intelligent birds, even though they can mimic and even speak, but they're uh, just very aggressive and they don't give up. Very persistent. And um, that's one of the reasons why they succeed. And these poor pigeon nestlings really had no chance uh, the, the mother and the father pigeon is out. Uh, they came back trying to protect their nestling at this point, but the damage unfortunately already has been done. Uh, the poor pigeons, um, you know, they're amazing parents. The dedication to one another and also their nestlings is quite uh, amazing. Many people don't like pigeons. Uh, so again, the, uh, the miners come back and threw out, grabbed one of the nestlings and threw it out of the box. Um, one lasting nest and then it threw out the other one. So poor pigeons, their nestings were killed. Uh, they're still fighting for the box. They still want to use the box because the pigeons, they'll, they'll breed again. But the miners also want to use this box. So this is a very bad situation. I don't want the, the miners to breed. They're invasive species. Um, but we'll have to see what happened. This nest box is very high up. It's a difficult nest box to reach. And we got a serious problem now because the pigeons want to breed, but the miners there. So it's a very sad uh, thing. Keep an eye out for this uh, common kestrel pair. Unfortunately, we may have more drama to come. So here we're going from super sad to happy in Israel Ramon Barnal Cam. The lone nestling is doing great. Now there's only one nestling. The parents are able to feed enough, bring enough food for it. And he's just growing very well, swallowing prey himself. Uh, initially, there was even a little competition between him and his mother. But luckily, the mother is actually doing a great job now. She's staying and roosting with this barn owl and doing an excellent job protecting it. And because there's only one nestling, he, uh, the parents are able to bring 
enough food. Uh, still not easy. There's not that much uh, rodents this year. It's a kind of a very low rodent year, which is good for farmers, not good for our barn owls. Yeah, um, and this guy's even starting to play a little bit with his food. He initially is very stressed because of the competition with his mother to swallow as soon as he can. Now he's way more relaxed in um, in be playing with the prey and, and swallowing it, uh, taking his time. Because the mother started, she's hunting too. So once the mother leaves, then then the little guy is alone. And he's able to swallow these uh, voles with no problem at all. The mice are even smaller, so much easier. That's a, the main prey he's getting. Um, but he's the little guy's doing excellent. The parents are doing a great job. He looks to be very, very healthy. He's getting enough prey. Raising one nestling for a brown owl pair is, is a little bit easy. Here the mama uh, takes a, a cash vole and eats it herself. She still, the parents still have to eat. A lot of people forget about this. Look at the nestling do some wing exercising in the background. So the adults first and foremost have to feed themselves. And after there's enough food, they feed the nestling. So they're able, there's enough food that they're able to do this, luckily. Uh, it, it's, it's not an easy thing, but they're, they've been succeeding very well. And the little guy is very, it's amazing to watch a lone barn owl how he grows and he's very healthy, very strong. So watch this camera. It's one of the, the cutest little nestlings I believe there is. In Barnow, Florida, cam number one, we have a female and sometimes a male coming inside of the box to roost rest. So they're coming in and out, which is a great sign. They'll probably hopefully breed in the fall time. And in Barnow, Florida, cam number two, also uh, here the female comes and actually brings a, some, a rat to catch it for later. So uh, keep an eye on for these both cameras. Hopefully we'll have a breeding in the fall. We also have our little owl. Did not breed this year, but the pair are actually still courting together, which is kind of interesting. Um, we're not sure why the female has not laid, but they're looking here courting, kissing, cute, very cute with their little squeaky sounds. Something a little bit weird happened. Uh, one of them left and the other one grabbed its leg and like tried to put it back in, didn't want it to leave. A little bit uh, upset, almost looked like a fight. Um, uh, which kind of worried about that very very weird thing um, very unusual behavior a little wrestling almost but luckily the um, they started courting and, and preening and kissing again so really hoping this little owl pair first and foremost a female is okay but hopefully they'll breed next season but still watch them very entertaining little owls we got our favorite griffin vulture family with the two handicapped parents and their adopted nestling is about 67 days old and wow this guy is growing looking really good this is one of our most entertaining ca uh, cameras and what a great family the parents are always there to protect it so enter and watch it what a great cam uh, we also have our israel barnall cam four my four i went there this week there was a problem i had to fix it uh, hopefully things will work better took the opportunity to, to clean the lens is very, very dirty uh, inside. Uh, also, the out, outside camera cleaned it. Um, the main problem was there's so much vegetation inside um, this this camera that um, that it blocked the solar panels. The solar panels were uh, were dirty, so I cleaned those. And also, the vegetation was blocking the antenna that um, for the internet, so I had to clean that too. So hopefully, this um, this just behind the scenes maintenance that we have to do a lot of these cameras, so you get to get, get an idea of the hard work we do. Um, here, the um, uh, the barn the pigeons came back. They're incubating two eggs, so ho hopefully we'll have a hatching soon. So enter in this cam. Lastly, we got Israel Barnall Cam 1. Um, we, the fledglings left the box, uh, and almost immediately this pigeon pair came. They're very interested courting inside this box, so probably we should have some eggs soon. Wow, yeah, crazy, crazy, crazy week. Uh, nature is harsh. We, we see it again and again in this channel. There's lots of beautiful, amazing things to see, but it also can be very violent. 
Um, so I really hope you like this video. Thank you everybody for the timestamps. Uh, without you, we will not we would not be able to see a lot of these uh, events that you by writing your observations in the chat. It greatly, greatly helps. Uh, to the moderators, you guys are the best. Would not be able to do this without you. They do so much work behind the scenes, and I can't appreciate. I can't tell them thanks enough. So thank you everybody for watching. If you like this con content and want to contribute, uh, you can help by donating. I put a link in the description. So please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Keep on watching. Hoochie later.